All right, so we're gonna get to a little, a little gameplay today. Now I mean, now I mean, now I mean, jelly bean. It's loud. Oh, you can skip through that. God is good. I'm gonna hit the volume on her. Don't mind my. <laughs> LOL. All of this. Fudge. Why are you doing this to me? I don't have a remote for my TV. So I gotta hit the buttons, but the buttons are doing me dirty. Why? Whoa! So I'm just, uh, I'm going to do a little quick one. A little quickie. <laughs> uh, uh, my people are making dinner. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, dinner. Breakfast for dinner. Sausage and egg and uh, some motherfucking potatoes. You dig what I'm saying? I'm trying to get a real Mexican in this bitch. Um, I do have, I have a story and such. Um, a, a ministering thing or at least a foundation i don't know you know where the where the holy spirit's gonna take me but i'm gonna uh start so i'm at work today and i'm a server uh a, a waiter whatever uh which is crazy uh because I, I got the job pretty easily um by the grace of god god is good you know he just when he opens the door you gotta walk on through amen we're going through to the other side and so um so yeah, I'm a server. And it's my first time. I've never been a server before. I never wanted to be a waiter or a server. I was always afraid I was going to drop the thing. And thank God I don't have to carry one of those. I mean, we carry multiple plates, but uh, I don't actually have to. Uh, uh, why am I jumping? But I don't actually have to. Uh, oh, I'm jumping. Fuck. But uh, I don't actually have to carry like a thing. Just uh, yeah, multiple plates. Which is good. None of them shits be hot, dog. I'm talking about. I ain't never carried plates so hot. Like, thank God. I'm glad they give us. You know, I thank God for everything. But I'm so glad they give us like a. Uh, uh, being slow. But uh, I'm so glad they give us little like these little. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Like some rubber, rubber carriers, um, to carry them on. So, yeah. Otherwise. I'd just be standing there waiting for the fucking plates to cool down. It'd be too funny. But uh, just like, what are you doing? Plates are hot. Can't carry them. <laughs> uh, and everybody just be like, okay. I'm like, well, I'm not going to carry them when they're hot. I'm going to burn myself. My body is a sacrifice to God, not to th this job. Sorry. It don't work like that. But um, what's it called? So, yeah. So, <laughs> run from Darth Maul, that's for sure. God. Let's see if I can get out. Nope. Got me backstabbed like a bastard. So, um, what's it called? So, yeah. So, I'm a server. And, you know, life life of Christ is a life of servanthood, servitude. So, I don't trip. Um, it's not too bad. It's it really simple. Take orders. Put them in. Take them out. Pay them out. You know, keep it. And then, of course, I, you know, I try my hardest. Uh, uh, to uh, um, you know, minister, talk about Jesus, and uh, I've realized that birthdays are like the easiest way for me to minister, like an easy in, um, because we have you know people come for their birthday and such, and uh, so I had a brother in Christ, a church brother, a while ago. I heard him say that Satan's favorite day of the year, favorite holiday is uh birthdays because it's about self and i was like that's crazy you know what i'm saying i'm not saying it's true or not you know i'm not a student of satanism so i don't fucking know what they do but the idea i, I understood the concept of it of worshiping damn bastard sacrifice uh I, so i understood what he was saying um or i understood you know what he's saying i understand that concept of worship of self right because uh, Satan wants you, I mean, Satan wants you to worship anybody but the Lord. Um, and so, uh, 
I remember he's so yeah. He said that say that birth, birthdays are Saint Sadness favorite day, and uh, so whenever I, I, I as best I can, whenever a birthday comes through, especially uh, if they're my table, I'll tell them. Uh, you know, I say hey, you know, just, just want to take a minute to minister real fast. You know, I say you know, birthdays are a gift from God, the reminder of His uh, mercy, love, and grace. You know, He gave you another year. Um, and of course, you know, God wants to prolong our days. He wants us to have a long life. He wants us to give us inheritance and such. So, um, you know, as the Bible says, uh, uh, food is ready. It's, it's in the microwave waiting on me because <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy doing this. I don't think I wasn't planning on doing this right now, but the itch, the itch, the itch. But, um, so, so yeah, I always say to the person, to the individual that, you know, birthdays are a gift from God. Um, and, and, and if we want to make it to the next birthday and be essentially in a better place, a better position, have more, you know, whatever that more may be, better house, nicer house, a better car, you know, if you're driving a jalopy, you know what I'm saying, or would, would you feel like there's a jalopy and you want a better situation, uh, you know, by the next birthday, by the next year, I always say, you know, we need to, we got to give God more of us over the next year. So he can give us more of him. Um, so, like, so you know, making the birthday about the Lord and giving that understanding that you know everything is a gift from God. All things, all good things come from the Lord, including a birthday, a day of life, um, another year. Like I say, uh, so that's kind of and, and and I always say you know the only way to the Lord is through Christ Jesus. Just I mean you can't get to God. Jesus said that the only way to the to the Father is through the Son. Um, so I make sure I, I throw that in there. It's the number one. Uh, so anyway, so that's just, that's a quick, just general story. So today I got a table, um, what did they order? This lady ordered a tuna sandwich with soup and, um, I don't, I don't like, I try to charge as little as I can, you know, don't tell my job, but, uh, even though they kind of already knew that, kind of already busted me for it, but uh, I, I, I wasn't charging for drinks and they busted me. And they're like, you know, you gotta charge for drinks. I'm like, damn, you know, I just be trying to, I just be trying to bless people as much as I can. Um, so I, uh, so I, I really try to charge for drinks. And so today, yeah, I didn't charge, I didn't charge the table for the drinks. And this lady orders a, san a tuna sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, and soup. Little deal thing we have. It's a half sandwich with soup. And so I bring, bring out the meal. And uh, later on, she uh, she asked for a, a sweet tea. She had ordered a water, and uh, later on, she asked for a sweet tea. I didn't charge her for the sweet tea, and the gentleman had asked for a uh, a juice that I didn't charge him for, and the other two had water, that which is free. Uh, so yeah, they got free drinks, and then um, the gentleman he wanted a piece of fish. Uh, and we don't have the the, 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 the the restaurant that I work for. We don't have, uh, we don't do, damn, what's it called? Certain things by themselves. Like you can't get a burger by itself. Uh, you can't get a piece of fish. You know, it's all meal based. It's a meal or, you know, whatever. I mean, there's sides and there's like, we have lesser stuff. So you can get a smaller meal uh, as opposed to a, f a bigger meal. Um, so he ordered a piece of fish, and I'm like, damn, I, I don't want to charge him for a whole thing. And I don't want him to have to pay for a whole thing. He might not even eat the whole thing. Uh, so I just, you know, as so I asked him to drop me a little piece of fish, I got it, boom, and uh, gave it to him. So fast forward, um, uh, I give him the check, and uh, the lady, uh, so mind you, like I said, I didn't charge him for the drinks, I didn't charge him for the fish. Um, so their bill is lesser than what it is, right? And so uh, I give them the bill. I walk away. I think I take some of their plates or whatever. Go handle some business. Come back. The lady says, um, uh, "Did you not take off the sandwich um, since I didn't like it?" And I was just like, uh, in my head, I'm thinking, "Yo, I, I mean, I, I, you didn't even pay full fucking price." So, and you know what I'm saying? Like, take the fuck, like, shut up. But I was like, I can't say that, right? Uh, that would be ungodly. That would be unchristlike. That wouldn't be very gentle. Jesus told us to be gentle. Um, what's it called? So I just, I kind of stuttered. I was like, uh, um, well, I, I didn't, I said, I didn't charge you for everything. 
She was like, okay, that's fine. And that was it, right? Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm like, I mean, you got two, two you, uh, maybe, and I was telling my, my people this, I was like, you know, maybe she didn't know the breakdown. So usually the, uh, the drinks are on the ticket because they cost. And uh, maybe she didn't know that. So her not seeing the drinks, she may not have caught that, right? She may have thought they're free or something. That, uh, okay, I'll excuse that. But probably not. But she probably knew. But so I, 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 so I said that he was like, oh, you know, I didn't charge you for everything, and, and also meaning like I can't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, she had said that the tuna sandwich was too salty. I might have said that already, but I'm like, I mean, that just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand some things. Like if your meal's cold, all right. You know what I'm saying? You sh- shouldn't have to pay for it. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's like there's certain things that you kind of understand but too salty and then you ate she still ate the soup right it's a it's a complete it comes as a complete meal a half sandwich and soup but she said yeah she had said you know you didn't take off the salad and just leave the soup which like i said i can't do because it's all one thing um so anyway my point is you know just being grateful being content the bible says to be content in all things um uh, and, and, and Apostle Paul talks about how he's been rich, he's been poor, he's had a lot, he's had little, he's been hungry, and this and that, and and, and learn to be content. And I mean, if you know, my testimony is uh, it's complex, but I've been, I've lived on the street, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily knowing where my next dollar was going to come from, uh, or my next meal, you know what I mean, you know, having to you know, ask for money, uh, you know what I'm saying, and having to be okay with. Uh, homeless shelter food uh, right which uh, i mean some people would never ever experience you know what i'm saying I, and sometimes at the shelter you know it'd be like i wouldn't even the only thing i would like would be the dessert so all i would eat was like a little piece of cobbler or uh, something they give donuts or the fruits i wouldn't even like i don't know let's say they they made some type of vegetable thing and i wouldn't eat it you know what I'm so i'd essentially like a forced fast you know what i mean uh, because I could just couldn't eat. I'm a picky. I mean, I'm a picky eater, and but sometimes you just you can't eat what they got, right? And so uh, I, I I know what it's like to starve is what I'm trying to say. So when people have like a, a certain type of I'm not she didn't have an attitude, but when people have a certain type of attitude that's not where they can't they're not content, it bothers me because you know there are people out here starving. I've been in a place of fucking starving, right? Um, and so for her to be like, to, to, like, you saw me bless you with a piece of fish. You know what I'm saying? You saw me throw you a, a, a tea. You know what I'm saying? I've been polite, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, which I'm supposed to do. It's my job. So I'm not saying I need a reward for that. I'm just saying I've done my job. You know what I'm saying? Now you're kind of making up a thing to kind of, you kind of want more. Like, nah, it doesn't work like that. Uh, you know, say be, be grateful for everything. Just be grateful that you even have the money to pay the full price. Um, and that's kind of something we're back to the birthdays that I kind of tell people, you know, by the grace of God, you made it to this restaurant for your birthday. You got the money to, uh, what's it called, uh, to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've had, you know, I've had to settle for, you know, the $4 McDonald's meal because I don't want to spend you know all my money you know saying when someone gives you ten dollars you gotta make that 10 stretch you know me and my ex-wife i mean shoot we we, we figured out how to eat off of eat for three days off of ten dollars you know what i'm saying make buying meals or buying stuff for meals at dollar tree you know what i'm saying like i don't really done been there so i mean i'm grateful so every dollar I, i i don't like to be greedy and I don't like to, I don't try to save every dollar. I've definitely spent my last on others plenty of times at recently as well. Um, I mean, the first few, uh, I mean, the uh, uh, first mo- few weeks of money I was making at, at my job were I uh, went to the church, um, just spending my last over and over again. Uh, you know, blessing, blessing the kids, blessing the congregation, blessing Bible study, pizza, this, that, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah you know having having money having an abundance having extra having enough and then having extra having more than enough i mean what that's like i mean that just it 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 blows me away um being in that position like i'm saying being seeing others not be 
uh, grateful, not be content, just kind of finding something to kind of trip about, it bothers me. It, it frustrates my spirit. Um, and and, and I, you know what I should when I I'm, I'm kind of messing up. I, I did I haven't prayed for that individual. Uh, forgive me, forgive me, Lord. I didn't pray for them. Uh, I kind of jumped to frustration. I kind of jumped to talking about them. I should have prayed. But uh, I, but but there's a like I said, I'm really just more trying to teach the lesson. Um, um, what am I? I, I said I lost my train of thought. Just passing passing a lesson forward uh, of just being content, being. Um, uh, teaching content, I think contentment is the word. I think contention is the word that means like uh, fighting. The uh, Bible says to leave off contention, right? Um, so I'm not going to tell you to have contention. But uh, you, you do your best, if you're watching this, do your best to be content um, and, and find the, the strength to be content. And the Bible says uh, all things work together for the good for those who love the lord uh so if you can find the good in just about or i mean try to find the good in just about everything that happens to you or you know go back to your love for god and you should be able to find the good you know i think like it kind of goes either way if you can find the good you know you're in right standing with the lord if you love the lord you'll find the good um and so if you found the good you know you love the lord essentially because uh, I've had, you know, I've had mo times and days and moments where things happen. I'm like, yo, what the f I got to find the good in this. Or, Lord, I love you, so help me, show me the good. Um, because I'm having trouble or I'm not seeing it off the top of my head. Uh, or I'm not seeing it with my natural eyes. I guess that's a better way to put it. I'm, I'm leaning on my own understanding. You know, the Bible says not to lean on your own understanding. Uh, give it to God and he'll make straight your path, baby. Um... And that's really the end of the lesson. Uh, I'm just gonna. I don't know how much longer it's in this game. My food's waiting on me, baby, and I'm. I'm I've been waiting on it. I was gonna go uh, uh, peanut butter and banana sandwich, but uh, uh, you know, so you got had better plans. You did uh, uh, something better. Damn, you know, taking my kills, man. I'm trying to kill here. I'm trying to kill. Are they, uh, why is it using that? Oh, 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 we're back in business. Business. What is crazy is if you know Star Wars, you know that fucking a lightsaber like melts things like butter. You dig? Like, it's like a terrible, it's like a dick of fucking fatal laser sword of a weapon but in the games you just be it's like a bat you know you just be beating people with it and it doesn't really make sense but you know it is what it is out of, what they got me shot me out of air dog that's i'm offended Sniped at it. Okay, it said 100. It says 100. percent So that means over. Cause I'm hungry, dude. Like for real, for real. <sighs> <sighs> By the grace of God, in Jesus' name, thank you. <sighs>